The Cleveland Browns have agreed to trade former number one overall pick and quarterback Baker Mayfield to the Carolina Panthers for a conditional fifth round draft pick. So it's official. Baker Mayfield is moving on. He's out of Cleveland. And we're going to talk about what this means for both the Browns moving forward and what it means for the Carolina Panthers, who actually got now Baker Mayfield moving forward. Uh, first, let's start with the Panthers and 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 a breakdown of, of how this trade kind of came about. We know that the Panthers have had interest in Baker Mayfield since the beginning. There was that report that came out a few weeks ago that said that the Panthers were urgent in their uh, desire to get Baker Mayfield and get a trade done. And now it's done. The In in this trade, the Panthers have agreed to pay $4.85 million of Mayfield salary, while the Browns will pay the remaining 10.5. And a lot of the rest of his salary is going to convert into incentives that kind of help facilitate this deal and what made the money work for both sides. So for the Panthers, right? I think the question on everyone's mind is, what does this mean for Carolina? Where does this put them? Well, I'll start off by saying that the Carolina Panthers now hold the number one and number three overall pick from the 2018 draft. They they got Sam Darnold and they got Baker Mayfield. And the question still remains about whether or not they have a quarterback. That's Isn't that crazy to think about? Uh, of all of those quarterbacks, Josh Rosen, Sam Darnold, Baker Mayfield, the only and 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 the rest, the only ones that are still with their team, and that's from that 2018 class, are uh, Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson, both of whom are elite quarterbacks. And like, it's crazy to think those were the last two picks of the first round. But with Baker Mayfield now in Carolina, it I think gives the Panthers a chance here to make something happen. Now, what is something? I think they can improve with Baker Mayfield because I think Baker Mayfield is an improvement over Sam Darnold. Is it a drastic improvement? Is Baker Mayfield a great quarterback? Is he an elite quarterback? No. Can Baker Mayfield be a good to very good quarterback? Absolutely, and he is. I think that's what he's proven during his time in Cleveland. The reason that Baker Mayfield was kind of kicked out of Cleveland in, in the manner in which he was was because the Browns saw... The Browns saw Lamar Jackson. The Browns saw Joe Burrow. And they said, we need an elite quarterback. And in their mind, Baker Mayfield wasn't that guy. There were also issues with his his personality, the way he rubbed off on teammates uh, after a while. The OBJ situation is the biggest indication of that. So the, the Browns say, okay, we're going to get Deshaun Jackson, or sorry, Deshaun Watson. Or maybe not, right? Like they, they got Deshaun Watson to this massive contract and we might not be able to play. But with Mayfield and Carolina, now it, it gives, I think, him an opportunity to have a fresh start, get the get the cobwebs out, get the the get back on track to where he was two years ago in Cleveland, where people forget he led this team to a playoff win. He led the Cleveland Browns to a playoff win. Outside of, I believe, Bernie Kosar, like in the 1990s, no Browns quarterback has ever been able to say that. All 84 of them. (laughs) No Browns quarterback has ever been able to say that. Baker Mayfield went out and did that. And to say that it had nothing to do, or Baker had very little to do with that team getting to that point, I think is asinine. Baker Mayfield took a team that was 0-16, 1-15 uh, the two years previously, came in and played very well, and I believe had him at a five had and had a 500 record as a starter as a rookie, broke the rookie touchdown record. People forget that because we are prisoners of the moment, and I understand that. Has he progressed to the in the way that people thought he would? No. Is he still a good quarterback? Can he be great? Sometimes. I think Baker Mayfield can be great sometimes. And in this league, sometimes good is just enough. Look at the Jimmy G situation. The Jimmy G situation, granted, it, he had the perfect team around him. Is he, is he That is the perfect example of a, having a good quarterback on your team that is able to make plays when it counts, make, make, able to make plays in, in critical moments. And what did they do? They were able to get to a Super Bowl. They were able to get to the NFC title game. 
Like, that is a big deal in the league because not a lot of other quarterbacks can say that. Just being honest. I'm a, I'm a Ravens fan. Lamar hasn't gotten there. So you can be so you can it shows you can be a great quarterback. It's depending on the situation in the team. And with the Carolina Panthers stand right now, they're in a division where in the Atlanta Falcons, they're kind of in a weird rebuild mode. They just drafted Desmond Ritter. They got a young quarterback. They're trying to mold him. They have Marcus Mariota. They have Pitts, but outside of that, they don't really got much. New Orleans Saints, very similar situation, very weird situation in New Orleans. Jameis Winston played very well for them last year, had him in a spot where they were in a playoff contention, but can they replicate that success this year? We'll see, and how is he going to be coming off the injury, and how is this team going to rebuild without Sean Payton? Huge questions for this team. And then we know the Bucs are the Bucs. They're going to win that division, but where do the Panthers f- uh, fall here? Panthers are a team that have been gritty. Like, like here's the thing. The Panthers have been a difficult outing, like, uh, n- n- more so two years ago, but like they they have given teams trouble. They're able to give you trouble, and I think if there's any team in that division that's going to have a breakout year, it's going to be the Carolina Panthers. Like, like am I saying they're going to go to the playoffs? I think they can. I actually think the Carolina Panthers can go to the playoffs because they got weapons. Uh, Robbie Anderson buried the hatchet apparently with Baker Mayfield. They're cool now. You got a situation where where Moore is is. The best receiver there. You have run CMC. Hopefully he's going to come back healthy. We say that every year, don't we, I feel like. And Matt Rule's got a lot to prove. Matt Rule's got to prove that he's not jaw. And he's actually got to be relevant for more than three years. Because I'm telling you, if, he, if that this team doesn't make the playoffs this year, Rule's gone. He's gone. He's going to be irrelevant. <laughs> he's going to be jaw Rule. He's going to be irrelevant by, by the time uh, ne- uh, January rolls around. So... There's a lot to it. Baker Mayfield, I think Baker Mayfield is good enough to take the Carolina Panthers to the playoffs. Is he good enough to win a Super Bowl? That's a whole different argument. We'll see. we'll have to see. That that this team is not make winning no Super Bowl right now. I'll tell you that. The, the, the currently constructed, they have to they have to do a little bit. And and coaching wise, Matt Rule's got to prove that he's better. But playoffs, sure, why not? Uh, That's what I think, though. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released.